just about a month ago. We had a video on Quen 2.5, which at the time was the best open source large language model that was released. It even outpaced Llama 3.1's 405 billion parameter model and held its own against models like GPT-4 Omni and Sonnet 3.5 on certain benchmarks. It was a huge achievement for the open source field to perform on par with institutional models. Today, I want to spotlight one of the smaller models from the 13 Quen models that were launched that day, the Quen 2.5 Coder. Despite its smaller size, the 7 billion parameter model is quite impressive for multi-programming tasks covering more than 40 programming languages. Now in terms of code reasoning and handling basic tasks, it excels and it demonstrates strong ability to follow complex instructions. Now building on these results, a developer on Twitter even created a Quen code interpreter using the 1.5 billion parameter model. Now this model comes with an in-browser code interpreter accessible via Hugging Face Spaces and offers a lightweight solution for assisting with basic coding tasks. And this is something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video. Check out this demo video where it is showcasing the Quen 2.5 coder in action. With just 1.5 billion parameters, it builds an entire website within the browser. Now, the, obviously the quality isn't going to be perfect, but it's still impressive for such a compact model. And this is something that we're going to be able to see with this generation as we go forward. Now, I'll be completely honest. This might not be an incredible top tier coding based model that excels at every coding based task, but it's a lightweight solution that will get the job done. In regards to its performance, it excels quite well for its size with its 1.5 and 7 billion parameter model on human eval and many other benchmarks. Plus, the Quen 2.5 coder model matches GPT-4's performance at a fraction of the cost, offering a compelling open source alternative. This makes it not only efficient, but also highly accessible for developers who need a strong coding capability based model for a cheaper price and something that you can run locally. So now, how can you access and utilize the Quen 2.5 coder? Well, this is where I'm going to be providing a solution with the Quen code interpreter. This is a super lightweight web-based code interpreter that you can actually access today. And this is where we're going to be taking a look at the capabilities of this amazing code interpreter. Now to showcase the capability of this Quen model with this code interpreter, I'm going to be sending in a prompt to GPT-4 Omni as well as Quen 2.5. And the prompt will basically calculate how many one foot wide golden doodles fit in a square model. So take a look at this image, which is showcasing the yielding of the same results. It showcases approximately 27 million for the square miles and the GPT-4 Omni response which you can see is quite concise focusing on a direct calculation without any sort of extensive explanation. Whereas if you take a look at the Quen 2.5 coder's response with this code interpreter and it being a 1.5 billion parameter model, the response is basically offering a more educational perspective which you can see with this detailed response. It's quite more detailed in the calculation steps and it uses formatted outputs with two decimal places and it's going to be providing a more clear context which you can see right here now if you go back to the gpt4 omni's output it's quite quick and straightforward for experienced users whereas the quen 2.5 response excels in clarity and guidance and this is why this particular model accustomed to this code interpreter can be really useful for a lot of developers looking to get a lightweight solution to help you code out a code base or just help you in AI coding based tasks. So how can you start accessing this? Well, you can either install this locally where you can clone this repo and you can easily just start the development server or you can either access this via Hugging Face Faces. And this way, you can utilize this lightweight solution to help you and assist you in coding-based tasks. Now, the great thing with this Quen 2.5 coder with the 1.5 billion parameter model is the use of sparse attention mechanism. This is a significant factor in its performance, which is especially used for code-related tasks. Now, sparse attention is something that they specified in their technical research paper and this is something that allows the model to focus more efficiently on relevant parts of the input which is going to overall optimize the process of enabling it in handling complex code structures effectively 
Now, its procedure and the power to enable it to handle complex code structures is going to not only enhance the performance, but allow the model to run smoothly in a browser environment like this, such as the Hugging Face Spaces, despite its smaller size compared to larger models. So to use this, you want to simply click on the load the 1.5 billion parameter model, and then you can start asking a question such as how many R's are in the word strawberry. This is where it's going to then stream the response and you will have your answer in a couple of seconds on the bottom section. So let's see if it's capable of answering this question. I, in my opinion, don't think it's going to be able to do this, but let's see. And there you go. We got the answer correct, actually. There are three R's in the word strawberry. So next up, I really want to see if it's capable of creating a web page for a SaaS website. So let's go ahead and send in this prompt and let's see if it's capable of streaming an answer for this. So let's see if I'm able to get a response generated and I'll see if this is functional in a second. And it has finally generated the HTML code. So I copied it. There was a syntax error, but I ended up fixing it and I've now pasted this into an HTML online viewer. And this is the output I got. You can see that this is a really nice, simple web page that I was capable of generating within a couple of seconds, despite being just a 1.5 billion parameter model. Now this next task is to write a Python function that takes a list of integers as inputs and returns them as a new list that is containing only the prime numbers from the original list. And if there are no new prime numbers, return an empty list. Now this function, it should be able to handle negative numbers and zeros, which are not considered in, uh, the prime numbers. So in this case, what we're looking for is having it so that it could define the helper function it should be able to iterate through the, uh, the input list and build the result list. And it was capable of providing the inner function, which is the is prime function, which is given the number n as prime. And it does state correctly where it checks the n if it is less than or equal to one. And we can see that it also lists out the comprehension, which is the return for the number of or for the num in numbers if it's this function over here. So this is definitely correct and the output does correctly identify the prime numbers from the input list. Now let's ask it to create the game of life. I'm gonna see if it's capable of generating this game and if it does successfully generate the game, I'll open this up in VS Code. So I went along and I've copied and pasted the code snippet that I generated and let's see if it is functional within our terminal. So. It goes ahead and gives us a screenshot. It did somewhat generate the simulation of the game of life. So I, it definitely isn't a pass in my opinion, but it did generate the simulation. Now just for fun, let's see if it's capable of generating a snake game for me. So I'm going to go ahead and see if it's capable of doing this. And I'll showcase this within VS Code in a second. So now let's test this out to see if it's functional. Let's click play and let's see if it starts up. And there we actually go. It's quite surprising to see a small 1.5 billion parameter model create a snake game and it does look to be functional let's see if i'm able to start the game and there we go and that is the capability of the quen code interpreter this is a lightweight solution in which you can access this new model within your browser this is something that i definitely recommend that you try out as this is a cost effective and super small lightweight model that you can get started with right now now, I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access our private Discord and that you can access different AI subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up, up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.